Hello, my crafty friends. Today I am sharing a slimline card that I made to send our middle daughter and her husband for their anniversary. Folded, my slimline card is three and a half by eight and a half inches, and it fits in a number 10 business envelope for mailing. That envelope is decorated with washi tape. This is washi tape from Doodlebug. I always secure my ends down with a little bit of wet glue, let that dry, and you can't see the glue, but it makes sure that that washi tape, those ends don't lift and peel. So that's my envelope. The card today started with my patterned paper called Love Notes from Doodlebug Designs. I've been having so much fun with this paper. It has a sheet of stickers that came included, a 12 by 12 sheet of stickers, and I had also bought the embellishment package. I believe they're called Odds and Ends, so I've been using them a lot. They're I'm just The bright, happy colors is just what I need this time of year. Now these stickers, they are, they came on a single sheet. I've had them for many years. I don't even know where I got them. I just know that I've had them for a long time. I bought more than one package and I, you know, I'm very frugal with my supplies and had been using them sparingly over the years, just one at a time. So when I was looking in my Valentine embellishments, I saw one package of three stickers left and realized that they would all three work perfectly on a slimline card. And when it's for an anniversary card, you know what, I don't have a problem using an entire package. I got them on clearance at the time anyhow. So I added all three to a vellum layer to break up the patterned paper from the package. Now I did didn't bring them over with me but the scalloped the it's like almost an eyelet this is the slim lacy layers by waffle flower I have those in several different designs the first ones I got were the slim lines of course and I love the alternating kind of eyelet and stitched edge that the die sets have. The happy anniversary was done with, with my brother label maker. I adhered the label to white cardstock and then just to a, a scrap of that pattern paper. I love Doodlebug and I'm always saving the little bits and pieces. I put a little plastic bag, usually stamp packaging, I put inside and I put those little bits and papers in. So when I have something small that I'm going to mat, that's when I go through that bag to see what I can use up in there. One of the Love This little hearts. I've been using both the Love This enamel hearts and the rainbow hearts a lot. I've, show, I've talked about those in other videos. Now this is also a pop-up with a dangling expanding heart. That <laughs> I can't grab with one hand there. So I used the Catherine label, which is a die by Karen Berniston. You can see I added another of the eyelet panels here from Waffle Flower, and then the two floral brackets. They came from that sticker sheet, and then I dangled my expanding heart. Karen Berniston has a new release, and in that release is the heart collage pop-up, and it has these expanding hearts. So I wanted to show you another way you can use it. It folds completely flat for mailing. I do have some lift from the foam tape here and on the hearts, but I think it's light enough I can still get away with sending it for a single stamp. Room there to write a note. I used Baker's twine for the heart and I could see kind of a buckle right there in the center of my pop-up heart. It was catching the light, it was really kind of bothering me, so that's when I realized that the Love This hearts had this cute little green heart so that went on there and also one on the expanding hearts. All the dies you need to make the expanding hearts for the heart collage pop-up of course are included in that set. So to make my little expanding heart I knew I was going to hang it with Baker's twine. The first thing I did was separate the twine into two layers rather than the four layers and I saved that other piece for another card another day and then I die cut my expanding hearts. I die cut the, the heart with the slot in the center one time from pink cardstock. I just used scraps. Cut the notched heart twice. I sandwiched the baker's twine between the two layers of the notched heart and then just shellacked them, as Karen Berniston says, together with glue. So I had a nice sturdy heart, but it still fit perfectly inside that notched heart. She has an assembly video that shows how to work the expanding hearts on the heart collage pop-up, and I will have her website linked in the description box below. Just a fun way to add a little bit more movement to your card. You can see if I turn it over, you can see the baker's twine just runs up the back. I adhered that with wet glue, so it's not going anywhere. And then the Catherine label for the rest of the, the pop-up. The Catherine label is probably my most used Karen Berniston die. It's quick and easy to put together, but you get a lot of height and a lot of dimension. 
but as I said, folds down nice and flat for mailing. If you enjoyed my card today, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And that's it for me today.